most played game on all of Xbox Live is getting an infusion of new content. That's right, Call of Duty Black Ops first game add on First Strike will be available Tuesday, February 1st. First Strike includes four new competitive multiplayer maps Kowloon, Stadium, Discovery, and Berlin Wall. It also includes Ascension, a new level for the always popular Zombies mode. Now for this preview though, we'll focus on the competitive multiplayer maps. We fired up Video Connect so we could chat with our friends from Treyarch and Santa Monica, Online Director Dan Bunting, and Design Director David Bonderhart. We begin with Kowloon. Kowloon is inspired by the single player campaign level of uh, the same name, Kowloon City, where you're in China on the, the rooftops of Kowloon City. It's rainy, it's dark, it's kind of got this brooding sort of mood to it. We really wanted to give the player the feeling that they were up high on top of the rooftops of, the, of these buildings. When we originally started to design the map, we started calling it our rule breaker map because we wanted to challenge some of the conventions that we'd had in, uh, in some of the previous map development cycles. You never want to break up a primary player pathway. And you know, in this map, we actually do that intentionally where you have to jump from one platform to the next. And uh, that was to contribute to the, the feeling of being up high on top of these rooftops and in, in increasing that danger level. Kellen City has a zip line which allows you to go from the map center uh, to the map perimeter uh, very quickly. It's one of those cost versus reward gameplay mechanics where you can you you trade speed for vulnerability. I mean, this really was a really fun map for us to make. I mean, we, we, I think from the beginning everybody was super excited about it, um, and we wanted to do it uh, a long time ago. But we had all the other maps in development, so we, we had to delay it for uh, DLC. But the idea has been around for a long time. A lot of people have been very excited about it. Next up is Stadium. If you launch into Stadium, you just bought First Strike, you put the disc in, you download the DLC that day, and you launch into Stadium, you're going to be greeted with this very real atmosphere. Here is a sports complex that's taking place in the northeastern part of the United States. You're fighting in and around this hockey rink area. You're outside that area in a courtyard and the administrative and maintenance buildings that are next to all that. And it feels like this very real place that you can participate in a really good battle. For me in particular, Stadium is uh, kill death ratio be damned. This is a, a map with really high action, lots of really significant kill zones, map flagging paths that are very close to each other. People are going to have to really change up running gunners, how they're going to progress through this map. You're going to see these very clear, well-designed, moderate distance engagement ranges, and you're going to have to work to sort of dominate the map in a pretty significant way. And next on the docket is Discovery. With Discovery, it's actually an abandoned World War II uh, research facility uh, left by the, the Nazi Germans. Because of that, it kind of has its own unique visual elements that, that make it distinct and make it feel a little different. The, uh, the very unique green color that the, that the Auroras give um, helps players to know one side of the map from the other. That's something that we try to do on every map provide some very obvious visual indicators that, that help player orientation. So as soon as they spawn in, they know, okay, I'm on this side of the map or I'm on that side of the map. The overall layout of Discovery focuses around some very tight choke points in the middle of the map, and that's key to the gameplay. There's a wide chasm that separates uh, both sides of the map. So that's that's a physical divider that you've got right in the middle of the map that cuts the map in half. We really wanted to bring back more of the map interactivity elements. There are three or four pathways in the map um, that will actually take damage and uh, chunks of the ice and snow will fall below you. It actually changes up the gameplay a little bit because when it's not damaged, you can just move over at full speed. When it is damaged, you actually have to you know, jump to make that path. There's only four ways to get across it. In order to you know, really dominate that map, you're gonna have to dominate the choke points. And finally, we have Berlin Wall. Berlin Wall is, without a doubt, probably my favorite map of the, the DLC pack, and I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that it is a little bit larger than some of the other maps, and it's fun to get some large maps in the mix. But what when people hit uh, and log into Berlin Wall for the first time, what they're going to see is this really iconic Cold War era icon and they're going to get to go inside and play in that space and that's really an important part and fun to do you know i think we've wanted to make this map forever and we had to wait for dlc to make sure that we could do justice to the art and the environment the way that we wanted to so when you hit this map 
You're going to see the Checkpoint Charlie and the influence that that has. You're going to clearly see the distinction between East Berlin and West Berlin. West Berlin being commercial and having shops and stores and East Berlin being industrial, somewhat run down, a pub. And, and just that contrast in the map is really fun. It's a, the, the shape of the map's very rectangular with three uh, core paths across it, a no man's land in the middle, which is uh, guarded. You'll have to experience for yourself what that means to try to cross into no man's land. Um, it's got both it, outside and inside interior sort of uh, spaces to transverse for sort of the run and gunner SMG types, long lanes for assault rifle guys and even longer lanes for sniper rifle guys. So for us in Berlin Wall, you have this really nice dynamic that's big enough to cater to multiple play styles all at once. And uh, I think it'll be a fan favorite. And there, my friends, is just a taste of things to come. The first strike game add-on for Call of Duty Black Ops. We hope you enjoyed our preview, and thanks everyone for watching Inside Xbox. Get five all-new maps first on Xbox Live.